I also, you'll notice, like my box is a little not straight. I think it gives it character. And let's do this green box over here. Resize. Oh, I don't want it to be the same way. I don't like how those are the same way, so let's move it back a little that way. Perfect. I'm not going to use this red one right now, so I'm going to delete that as well. Okay. Now, for me, I have a couple of special events. Let's see. Oop. Again, zoom in if you need to get more specific with your selecting. I have uh, my sister-in-law's birthday is on the 4th, so I want to mark it with that special flag. Then, let's do yellow. My birthday is actually on the 9th, and I'm going to move this down here. So I'm going to mark that day. And then, whoop, Mother's Day is on the 10th, so we're going to make that. And let's make these a little smaller. So we'll just resize those guys. Tap and hold using your lasso tool. And you don't have to put these, these dates on your calendar. I'm just showing you if you have dates for this week that you need to mark off, that's what you can use the flags for. I don't think I'm going to use that, but let's just put it down there just in case so I don't get rid of it. Let's move this task marker over here. Uh, let's put it on the middle of the lines there so I have more space to write. Let's put this one here. And the red one right there for right now. Okay, we got some basics, moved them all around. Let's go decorate. Let's grab this May 4th banner and put it on our dates. So again, lasso tool, tap and hold. Oops, not resize. Copy. Again, you don't want to use the cut on this because that'll delete your sticker from this page so you always want to copy from your digital stickers and let's go put this little banner over here so cute and let's move this one down perfect okay let's go back to our stickers let's play with some washi tape so I like to layer my washi tape, so let's grab this green, tap and hold, copy, go back to our planner, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and put it down here. And I like the layered washi look, so let's go grab one of these yellows, tap and hold, copy, and make it a little bit bigger and kind of offset it there. Perfect. And let's do another one, another washi set. Let's do some orange. And let's do green. Perfect. Okay, so now we kind of have our background basic elements in here. Let's go do some fun decorating with the fun stickers. Okay. Let's do this word or quote from the dark side. And let's put it right there sure why not well, let's go up a little bit more let's grab may the fourth be with you and let's put it over here 
and let's see. So this is a little bit of yellow over here. Let's move these boxes around. Ooh. That was too fast. There we go. So again, just to move, quickly move, you just use your lasso tool, you circle, you don't really tap and hold, you just circle it and then move it. <laughs> and then you can put it wherever you want. So I want to move both of these, the box and this quote up. So this is a cool thing too about the lasso tool. If you select more than one thing, so you cover more than one of the stickers, you can move both of them at the same time. Something else really cool, say you want to resize them, you have them both selected, you select resize, and it resizes them both, which is really cool. Okay, well, let's do some lightsabers. Let's do green. Over there, and red, Kylo's. Let's put it on this page. We need some more red over here. Let's do it at a different angle. Oh, let's get rid of this guy. I'm not going to use him. Okay, and blue. Put one up here. Perfect. Now let's put some more lightsabers. Let's copy these so you can also copy from these. You don't have to go back to your stickers once they're already here. Let's put some more. So cute. Oh, sorry, I was just telling you guys you don't have to go back. <laughs> just out of habit. horizontal I guess okay maybe Kylo's one last time I like the lightsabers <laughs> I don't think my mom's gonna like that Mother's Day is Star Wars themed but oh well <laughs> okay let's put some of these cute characters as our finishing touches Kylo has to be by his lightsaber, obviously. Boba, let's bring you over here. Make sure that he is by little baby Yoda too. Sometimes I like to overlay the little characters or decorative stickers over some of the edges of the boxes. And Ray. She gets by the blue lightsaber. Stormtrooper. I'm not sure if this is a special trooper. Don't quote me. Any hard die hard Star Wars fans. And C-3PO. Let's put him up here. BB-8. Make him a little bigger. And... Yeah, I liked him down here in that corner. Let's keep him there. And last one. Little baby Yoda. Or the child. We'll put the child on my birthday. <laughs> Why not? Let's move Boba over like this. Sure, we'll move both the box as well. Okay. So, last finishing touches. Let's put a little bit of washi tape on the corners of some of our boxes like the tape is holding it up. And... Oops. I meant to click on my sticker.
stickers. Let's do this orange one instead. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. So, let's put Mother's Day in there, handwriting. So, we'll walk you through the handwriting tools. This will be our base of our spread for this week. So, your handwriting tool is far left, looks like a pen. And then back over towards your right, you'll see your options. You have different sizes, small, medium, and large presets. And these are pre-selected sizes, but you can change them yourself if you want. So that makes your small a little bit bigger. Let's go back to three millimeters like they had it. So you can change any of these sizes as your presets. Then this uh, down arrow with the color. Um, these are quick colors that you can choose from. You can even set these colors so you can have three options um, to choose quickly from. So we're going to quickly change these Ooh, go to presets I'll walk you through that in just a second let's jump ahead and orange so you can you can have easy access to three different colors um, we're gonna stick with black for right now but when you hit this color button you have a couple of different things that you can do um, these the default first screen is your presets and at the bottom here you'll see the presets is already selected you can go and make different custom colors. Um, they, I haven't found an eyedropper tool where you can um, tap and pick up any color on the screen, but if you go and um, some people will give you the hex color code and you can type in your color code there um, to create, get your custom. You can also tap this button down here that looks like the circle to get your circle wheel to be able to choose. Say that you chose and you choose a new color. Let's choose this bright pink and I wanna make sure it's on my presets so it's on there. You just hit this add to presets button. And so now it was selected down there. It was put down there on this presets button so I don't have to keep making that color every time. Um, if you wanna reset your colors, you can click on this settings button at the top left and restore your color set that you originally had. So we're going to keep it at black. And then one thing I also forgot to mention, you can bring up more options with your pen by tapping on that pen button. And you do have a few different options. You have a, fount oh, a fountain pen option, you have a ball pen option, and you have a brush pen option. So they all write just a little bit differently. My handwriting is not the best. And brush pen is kind of touch sensitive, so if you push harder, you'll get kind of like a calligraphy mark. So I don't want to keep that messy writing there. I want to erase that quickly. Um, you can do the back button, which is at the top right here, this arrow that looks is pointing to the left to get rid of it. You, your redo button is also to the right, or you can use your eraser tool. So one button to the right of your pen is your eraser tool. Again, if you look over to the right side, you'll see three different sizes over here, so you can change it um, based off of what you want to erase. Also, if you tap your eraser button, you have a couple of different options. You can clear your entire page and that will clear it of your handwriting. Um, you can erase the entire stroke versus just part of a stroke if your stroke was down the whole time. You can erase highlighter only. I haven't talked to you about the highlighter function yet. Um, auto deselect, I don't really use that. And then um, you can um, also do a couple things with your stylus and palm rejection. I don't really mess with those either. So let's erase this, and the nice thing is it's just going to erase your handwriting. Um, so that's pretty cool. We don't have to worry about it erasing our stickers. So I was definitely going over our stickers, and it didn't erase it. I love it. So let's go back to our pen. Let's select ball pen for this. I think it's more of an even stroke. And I'm going to write in my important days here. 
and I like to zoom in when I'm writing so my handwriting isn't so big. To zoom in, you just pinch with two fingers in and out to zoom in and out. And my birthday. And Mother's Day. Oh, I also forgot Cinco de Mayo. So we can put that on there. Let's go back and grab that red flag. Perfect use of it. Let's put it down here. Tap your pen button again. Perfect. Okay, so say that you, a um, couple more tools that I'll talk to you about, and then I'll wrap it up because I know it's, this one has been a little bit longer, but I hope this has been pretty helpful to walk you through this. Um, next one is say that you have a to-do item, take out trash, with my schedule being all messed up with the coronavirus. Um, quarantine, I've forgotten to take out the trash quite a lot. Um, say I want to highlight this, make it stand out extra. If you tap your highlighter tool, it'll take you to the highlighter and then tap it again to bring up your different options. You can have it help you draw in a straight line. So see how I started off a little curved, but then it switches it back to a straight line. Um, we could hit this reverse back arrow. We can erase, but I'll talk to you about a little a new little trick that I actually just learned. If you tap twice with two fingers, so double tap, it'll reverse um, and take away your last action. So that's pretty cool. So that's drawing in a straight line, otherwise if you take it off, then your wiggly handwriting or whatever will stay there. I usually like to keep my highlighter in a straight line and again, you can kind of customize your stylus and palm rejection. Um, this is uh, where you can set up kind of how your stylus works. So um, I'm using the Apple Pencil. If you had a different stylus, you could show it would show up in there um, if you once you paired it, and then you can um, select from there. Single finger panning. So this will let, allows you to go back and forth between different pages um, with your Apple Pencil to. Um, if you're writing with your Apple Pencil, but then you can swipe with your fingers still to go on to the next page. That's what that function does, and if it's green, that means it's on. And then sensitivity, how hard you have to press. Press. I've left mine at medium this whole time, haven't really messed with that. And then writing posture, you can choose kind of how you write, if you're left-handed, right-handed, and where you set your palm. That way, you won't get accidental marks hit done to get out of there. That way you won't have accidental marks um, on different parts. It'll know that this is your palm um, resting on the page versus the actual stylus. So let's tap those colors again. Again, you have these black dots are your sizing. Um, let's choose the medium and let's choose the color. Again, same thing as the pen. You can edit your colors. Um, let's choose this red to go with our red color and so we're going to highlight this take out the trash please um the highlighter function you'll see is kind of um opaque or not opaque it's transparent um so you can see your text underneath it which is really cool so that's the highlighter function the next button is helps you draw shapes so if you tap it again you could choose which type of pen you want to use um, we'll keep the ball pen and then you can have it fill in a color um, it can snap to other strokes um, meaning it will kind of help you fill in the strokes so say you want to make your own to-do checklist so we want to make little circles um, to be able to check off for a list with that function on it will snap to basically a perfect shape so that was a circle here's a triangle and here's a square 
So we'll kind of help perfect up the edges for you. And it filled in with a little bit of lighter color of that color of my pen. Again, if we wanted to change the color, we can choose our color picker up there. Oops. And the fill color is very light. But that's what that tool does for you. So I'm going to erase those with my eraser. Don't know why it's not erasing that little guy, but we'll come back. Okay. Next button that we haven't talked about is the picture um, button. This allows you to get files and photos from your photo reel um, on your device, as well as you can insert photos that you've saved. If you go to the back button, like we talked about in part two, your different locations where you can save files, pictures, um, whatnot. You can insert those things via this button. So if you tap it, um, once you'll see off to the right here, your some of your pictures at the top um, will show up and you can scroll through those as well to choose which ones you want to insert. You can take a photo with your camera and this is a laser pointer if you are in um, a presentation mode like you're presenting. I don't really use this for digital planning so we won't talk a whole lot about it. There we go. That spot finally erased. It's bugging me. Alrighty guys, that's it for this part. Sorry it was a little bit longer, but I hope it was helpful and you got a really cute spread out of it. Um, stay tuned for part four. I will talk about some advanced features of GoodNotes. Um, we'll talk about how to export your page so you can share it on social media and talk about um, how to get stickers or make your own stickers within GoodNotes if they don't come in that easy cropped format.